Hey everybody, welcome back to CS125. Um, for those of you that are Illinois basketball fans, I'm uh, sorry about what happened this morning. It's a rough game. Um, I watched, I haven't watched very many of the games, but sort of a disappointing uh, end to what could have been a really fun, you know, next few weeks. But instead, what we'll get to do is have fun together continuing to learn computer science. So eh, it's a close second, right? Um, this week is uh, a light week for us. Uh, we have three lessons total. Um, we have an instructional day on Wednesday. There will be no course activities on that day. So no lesson, no homework, um, no staff activities, no office hours, no help site. The course will be dark. Uh, it will be shut down and we'll get a little bit of a teeny little micro break. Um, on Friday, we'll have the day off to help you uh, get across the finish line for MP1, which is due next weekend. Um, so we have three lessons this week, today, Tuesday, and Thursday. That's it. Um, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of time to maybe you know slow down a little bit for the instructional day. Um, make sure that you get MP1 in the bag, uh, all set up uh, before we move on. So today's lesson is the last lesson in our unit on object-oriented programming. Just in case you notice, the dog is here. There he is, sniffing around. Hi, do you want to help? No, thanks. So. Uh, he doesn't know how to program. Um, Today is our last lesson uh, in our object-oriented programming unit. On Tuesday, tomorrow, we'll move on and start talking about algorithms and data structures, which are the topics that are going to consume us for the rest, the third half of the class. But today we have one more lesson on this feature of Java called anonymous classes. And this is actually something that's really useful and is going to help you make sense of some of what you're seeing on the MP. So I hope you enjoy the lesson. Um, hope it goes better than today's basketball game did, and I will see you at the bottom.